Ricardo explained that, unsurprisingly, his sex life had taken a hit after becoming a muckbanger. Facts. Facts, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I remember when I started to gain weight, bro, I deadass was going through erectile dysfunction, bro. Even though I'm late to when this shit was popular and everybody was just getting on this fat nigga's ass. Do you want to see that video? <laughs> All right, nigga said that's nice. All right, bet. Let's go into it. This shit look like it's going to be a long one, though. A few moments later. He maintained his original weight of 160 pounds. However, while doing a mukbang at the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas, Nikocado Avocado would step on their scale, at which point he would be confronted with reality. So let's see how much I weigh. I don't even know. I think 160. Could, bro, bro, you could see the fucking weight increase in his fucking face, bro. This nigga look like a Pillberry Doughboy. You could see the weight increase, bro. 160. His face is bad. So here, so we're gonna step right up. Yo, I weigh the same amount as Nikocado, bro. I w that's my weight now, bro. That's literally my weight now. Holy shit! Yo, your boy, your boy, your oh shit! I'm proud of myself. <laughs> A healthy Nikocado. <laughs> 205 pounds? You for real? 206? That has to be wrong. You guys, I'm 200 pounds. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can finally see my fucking abs a little bit, bro. Losing that fucking belly, you know, that belly fat. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said, you chunky? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hit 190, bro. When revisiting the article discussing Muck, the I'm psychology of every mukbang day. watching, the authors also claim- Yo, y'all wanna see me eat fucking Oreo cookies, nigga? Like, milk and cookies with Oreos, bro? Y'all yeah, yeah, that ass? That's what y'all wanna see? I could do that and just talk. You said, fuck no? All right, then shut the fuck up then, some dude. <laughs> claim that mukbang videos affect oh, I see two yeses, perception oh. of food consumption Might make a poll about this one. Because Might mukbangers make a who are very thin and slim consumed very large portions of food. And I'm not going to lie. This is probably not even going to be a YouTube video. That's why I'm talking like this, intercepting the video and all that, bro. <laughs> did not gain weight, which is without a doubt the spell that Nikocado Avocado had found himself under. Being a naturally skinny guy who had seen others doing large mukbangs without gaining any weight might have convinced him that he was immune to Press growing C? his very no. own large after no, I don't but trust when you're you, at nigga. the point of eating 10,000 calorie meals for your channel, your quote unquote fast metabolism Captions isn't is on. going to be there to save you. The problem was that rather than seeing this as a genuine issue and an indication that he might want to slow down on the insane portion sizes, Nikocado Avocado would simply integrate it into his content with the goal of gaining Why does nigga look like he, he just bust several nuts chewing that shit, bro? Food is never that good, bro. I don't remember the last time I chewed something and I'm going like, ain't yo, my eyes is not doing that, Bro, captions are on, some dude. Captions are on. The fuck you talking about? He would upload two videos shortly after becoming conscious of his weight, stating, I'm getting fat and I don't know why, as well as say hello to my double chin, where he would unironically state that he thought it was just stress or water weight and that food wasn't the problem. I'm hoping, I'm praying that this is just water weight. No, dickhead. But this is water weight and it comes off in like a week. No. Of just not being so stressed. This nigga know why he was gaining weight, is bro. Is our number one killer. That's not our number one killer. Chips? No. Our number one killer is stress. Also believing that his weight gain was some kind of medical mystery. There is a medical mystery going on. There is something chemically imbalanced in me. Yes. Your, your pH is shitty, nigga. Drink some water. Put down the fucking corn chips and Doritos and Burger King, bruh. It's a, it's literally losing weight and gaining weight is so fucking easy. I don't understand how people don't understand it. It's literally counting calories, bro. I haven't worked out in a whole week and now my body is just drastically going down, 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 bro. Just count your calories. If you're trying to lose weight, count your calories. For me, what best for me is like stay under 1800 calories. Sometimes you can lose weight drastically because all you have to do is be below I don't know. By default, you burn 2,000 calories a day, depending on your body weight. Like, I usually do your body weight times 10. So, whatever you weigh, how much you weigh, times it by 10. And that's how much you pretty much burn by doing nothing, just by default, by being alive. Then, as you walk, you burn calories. So, if you cal calculate all those calories, and you eat below, you know, 2,000 calories or 1,800 calories or whatever, depending on how much you weigh, you're going to lose weight at some point. Now, if you're trying to gain weight... Go crazy with the calories, bro. It's so easy to gain weight, bro. We all should know it. Go to fucking, yo, go to Chick-fil-A and get one meal. Add a burger to that shit. That's literally the amount of food you need to consume for one day. 
get a meal from Chick-fil-A and add an extra sandwich to that bitch. That's literally the amount of food you can have in one whole day. That's 2,000 calories, bro. That's why when I get Chick-fil-A, that's the only thing I eat the entire day. That shit is hella, bro. It's fattening as hell, bro. Same thing with McDonald's. Get one big-ass meal at McDonald's. That's your entire diet in one day. 2,000 calories, easy. One Big Mac is 1,000 off rip. Get a Big Mac with fries and a drink. It's over. <laughs> I should probably go get my thyroid checked. Which were both pathetic justifications for the reality, being that he was simply eating too much food. Nikocado Avocado concluded the video by stating, You better enjoy it while it lasts, because I tell you, it will not last. I... I'm gonna find a way to lose this weight. However, with the same diet, the mindset that it was stress or water weight or a medical mystery, and yet another 10,000 calorie challenge only three videos later, obviously the weight gain continued. But it wasn't only his weight that was causing him health problems. What the Nikocado fuck? Nikocado Avocado would upload a video simply titled, I'm too scared to go to the hospital, Ew! which in charge of the 2017 YouTube what algorithm- What is wrong with this nigga's eye, bro? This nigga got an STD, bro? This boyfriend nut in his right eye, bro? What the fuck is that crust? Ew, yuck. In a whopping 21 Ew. million views. Not only did this video further assist in making Nikocado Avocado somewhat of a household name, but it also showed him that drama and talking about subjects other than mukbanging would still garner an audience as long as they involve drama. Nikocado would create a playlist or channel subsection literally titled Upset Feelings, where Fuck dramatic it, videos might be displaying video. the apparent problems he was having, such as specific arguments with his boyfriend, often gained substantial view counts. Nikocado Avocado uploaded videos such as What my husband did to me and I'm getting deported, <laughs> stating later that whenever he found himself in a bad mood, his first natural inclination was to grab the camera. Everyone already hates me or I'm already dramatic. Let me just grab the camera and just like film it. So some of them are like really, really real for me. Filming his low points became a regular occurrence on the Nikocado Avocado channel, which unfortunately included his continual weight gain. 12 months had passed since his last 206 pound weigh-in at the heart attack grill, but it was visually clear that he was now substantially heavier. So when Nigga, asked about his weight clear in before. a mukbang Q&A, the result was certainly anticipated. How much do you weigh now? Well, do you want to go, should I weigh myself in front of you? I gotta go get the scale. Last time I checked, he was like, to 68 to it was almost 270 pretty much i never been that much i never been that much that's OD. pounds i think the most i ever weighed was like 240 250 ish and that was my worst Nikocado that's when i was depressed and shit that's how much i, I had a gut avocado was 100 I used to suck in my stomach every day i used to walk outside bro i was bro I was in hibernation mode. 10 pounds heavier than he had been at the start, a weight gain equivalent to the size of an average adult leopard. If he were to add I'm another 50 pounds videos. to that, his body weight would have doubled since the beginning. However, Nikocado was positive that he would never cross the 300 pound mark. And if he did, he guaranteed everyone that he would officially make a change. I, I, I don't think I will ever be three, 300. If I am, Trust me, we're gonna make major changes. However, Nikocado Avocado hadn't changed his eating habits whatsoever and would simply continue eating larger and larger quantities. What just the to find fuck? This nigga got actual honey for the chicken nuggets? Yo. But wait, hold on, guys. I know Professor say something about eating a healthy food, and that is like in terms of weight gain and loss, I don't think it's necessarily the un it's the portions you eat, bro. It depends on how much calories is within that unhealthy food. Cause I remember I was losing hella weight. And I was still eating McDonald's and all this other shitty ass food. You just gotta have less portions of unhealthy food if you're trying to do that. It will have health issues. It will still, it will still grant you health issues though. Like if you're eating nothing but like fast food and shit, bro, your cardio is gonna be ass. Your body's gonna be acting funny. You're gonna, you're gonna start smelling weird. I'm not saying I went through this, but I've seen it happen when a lot of dudes are just eating nothing but shitty ass food. So it's like it might not necessarily affect you on the weight side if you actually balance it out. But it will affect you in other ways, bro. You might start smelling like shit. I'm not even gonna hold you. Playing his awful diet and overeating by stating that his body had some arbitrary stopping point where he like your body will let you know when you're like, yo, much. you were sick. My sicko. body seems very comfortable eating the amount I do. Has a very strong stopping point, and if I overstuff. I notice I don't get hungry until later in the next day. Which was obviously once again just another lie he told himself to deal with the reality of his own situation. To assist- And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Fat people stink. <laughs> I know this is somewhat discrimination, but I used to be fat when I was younger, I think. But as a kid, you don't really stink like that. I mean, like, if you're fat, your body is like, it's just filled with fucking grease. Like, it's just like, 
it's easy for you to sweat like you have rolls on your body you got sweat from under your titties under your belly under your armpits you got flabs all you stink nigga like bro it's tear don't be a fat ass nigga bro i'm telling you the hoes ain't liking that don't be don't and don't be a stink one either if you fat you gotta wash your ass 24 7 24 you gotta wash your ass with his mukbangs as his weight grew, Nikocado Avocado would also purchase a chair rated to hold a person who weighed up to four pounds. So, their body ain't healthy, bro. They don't have their pH balance is off rip shitty, bro. Hella soda in their system, and they just sweating all over the place. I said, okay, it's gonna hold. If it's holding up big people, it's gonna hold. Me up, definitely. And Nikocado Avocado was certainly going to need this seat, as less than 12 months after claiming he'd never get to 300 pounds, he'd upload a video titled, I'm 299.9 pounds, will I finally reach 300 after this? I don't even think I look that bad at 299 pounds. That's a crazy amount of weight, but I feel like... I, I do, even when I was getting fat, I did a lot of muscular workouts. I was still looking bulky. Like, I look more bulky and fat. Like, I remember in one of the FNF videos, I posed with my arms like this and shit, bro. That was probably, I was, that's probably when I was weighing, I was type heavy back then, but I was type built, like, <laughs> I was doing a lot of weightlifting. Meal. This video not only showed that all of Nikocado Avocado's previous claims about all water go to weight, my gut. stress, diets, understanding his body, etc, etc, were completely wrong, but it also revealed a much darker reality. He had accepted his size and saw his weight as a joke, even going so far as to say that he now wanted to hit 300 pounds. Holy shit. Pound. What? Why am I losing weight? Why can't I hit 300? In the process, Nikocado Avocado had done the actual calculations on how long it would take for him to get back to his starting weight. Let's do some math. How long is it going to take me to lose my weight? If I have to lose 120 pounds and I have to do five pounds a month, let's do 120. Five pounds a month? Okay, five pounds a month is baby shit. It's, okay, I'm going to say this. The heavier, you, the heavier you are, the easier it is to lose weight. That's fat. The heavier you are, the easier it is to lose weight. Because that's not his natural body weight, bro. Like, if this nigga is 300 pounds, all you got 300 times 10, that's 3,000 calories. All he has to do is eat less than 3,000 calories, and he's going to lose weight off rip. It's He don't even have to work out. All you got to do is eat less. Eat like a normal human being, he's going to lose weight. Because that's not his normal capacity to be holding up that much fucking weight. Now, if he did that and worked out, he'd be losing 10 calories a fucking month. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I lose more, like, bro, five pounds a month ain't really shit. Like, I could, you could lose that in a week if you actually started doing intermittent fasting and all that other stuff. How many divided by five? How many? Uh... <laughs> He's trying to do it the soft way out. Two years? That's 24. I 100 pounds is gonna be crazy. For two years. I'm just not gonna do it. How about that? <laughs> How about if so much better? <laughs> How do you love like food this much, bro? No return. That shit don't even look like it tastes good. Embrace his weight for the views as opposed to going to the effort. It don't even look like it tastes good. What is all that? I don't care anymore. I want to get to 300, and then 400, and then 500, and then 600. I'm in the one that's just like, who cares now? Too late. I ain't going back. This unsurprisingly caused further complications. That's a mental illness, bro. Oh my god. Bro, if y'all want to see me have zero sympathy for people, I don't have sympathy for like fat ass niggas, bro. Unless they're fat and proud, I'll just keep making fun of you. It's fun. Like, I know some cool fat niggas, but what I mean is like, I won't have sympathy in regards to like, I view as a mental illness that you can't lose weight and all you do is fucking eat, 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 eat. Like all my fat friends, bro, they used to fl and I even like flame them, like try to hurt them. It was just funny because I'd be like, them niggas be the first one trying to get some fucking food like that. They be dogging their shit up like nothing. They be like big smoking GTA San Andreas. And some people could take it, but I'm be like, bro, like I feel like I'm not doing my duty as a friend if like if you gaining hella weight right before my eyes and I don't say shit to you about it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna put you on blast, like, bro. You stink! Lose the fucking titties, my nigga. Like, yo, almost thought she was a girl. Fix your fucking yo, do some push-ups. Go run around the block, do something. Like you're not a real friend if you do, if you don't flame your friends if they acting up. Like real talk, if your friends starting to stink, if your if your friends breath stink, you gotta let them know. Like bro, here's a mint. Yo, go brush your teeth, you dirty ass nigga. That's love, bro. Yo, that is love. Cause if you don't do it, 
Yo, someone else is gonna do it, and he gonna hurt his feelings even more. He gonna try to approach Shorty, and they they, they gonna smell that shit. And you gonna be feeling the type of way. Nah, it's better that he gets it from you. That's love right there. You gotta tell a nigga like, yo, you're losing weight. You looking kind of crazy out here, bro. It's time for you to get on the treadmill. Do your thing. In his relationship. Discrimination. No one discriminates that thing. Out my way, you peasant. So what's next? The car's fat phobic? Is the car fat phobic? I put it, I, I, shh. In an interview with Men's Health, Nikki Kato explained that, unsurprisingly, his sex life had taken a hit after becoming a muckbanger. Facts. Facts, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I remember, when I started to gain weight, bro, I deadass was going through erectile dysfunction, bro. When I was saying the 240-ish, this that's the reason why I started losing weight. I'm not gonna hold you. That was the main reason. I did not give a fuck. Because when you're in a relationship, you're like, ah, you kind of just don't give a fuck unless someone's like, yo, you, you looking like you gain weight. I wasn't hearing all that. Only time I thought it was an issue was in it's like, yo, wait, what's going on? Why the fuck? I used to be like, Phew. now I'm like, I'm like, nah, bro, what's going on here? I was, I was getting pissed. I'm like, bro, what is happening? Then I realized I'm a fat ass, bro. Like, bro, I remember one time, I'm not going to go into details of it, but I was, I was getting in there. I was tired. <laughs> I, yo, I was out of breath, sweating like a pig, bro. I was, bro, I was breathing hella heavy. <gasps> yo, I was hyperventilating and shit. <laughs> like, bro, I'm like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> and that is hella embarrassing, bro. That is so embarrassing. So I'm like, because I'm not doing anything, bro. Actually, no, dude, yeah, this is facts. Dude, dudes got to do the, got to do mad work when they fucking, bro. I think I was, I'm not going to go as position I was, uh, she was in or whatever, but I was just out of breath and I was just like, she was like, keep going. And I'm just like, <gasps> wait, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. I got to catch my breath, bro. Bro, you know how embarrassed I felt, bro. After that, bro, I just went on a diet. I just went on a complete diet and I was like, you know what? I am never going through this shit ever again. I can't. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Yo. And you got to believe it or not, people are going to lose attraction to you once you start gaining weight. Because I'm keeping a buck with you guys. When I lost, when, when I had all the weight, I started noticing like, okay, Shorty's starting to treat me a little like, she's starting to treat me like a, treat me a little weird. But after we broke up and I lost hella weight, bro. Bro, when I say I was on it, bro, I was. After we broke up and I was back in the 220 range, 230 range. You want me? You want me? I was, bro, I, I was getting that nice ass treatment. Even after the breakup, I was still getting fried chicken. All I was getting everything I wanted, bro. She was still moving like she was trying her best to keep the shit going. So I was just like, bro, guys, no matter how, never get too comfortable, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Never get too comfortable. Like, real talk. You got, to, like, even if you get a girl, even if you get married, keep working out. Keep working out. Keep that shit going. Because I didn't know that shit would fuck you. That would mess up your sex life and shit, bro. I didn't even know it would do it. Because, Damn. I was feeling myself when I got to 220. I'm, bro, I'm about to hit 190, nigga. You know how excited, bro. I'm in best physical condition I've ever been in a, I've been in a minute, bro. I haven't been 190 in years, nigga. I haven't been 190 in years, bro. All, I, could, I have the best stamina I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> I don't get tired no more, at least physically. Sometimes I'll get mentally tired and fall asleep and shit, but... I, I'm chilling, bro. Additionally, the amount of videos in which Nikocado and Orlan argued or broke up or fought publicly increased substantially. This nigga is fucking eating too. He got fat too. You see what happens when you're fat, bro? You drag other people down with you. This dude, I, I thought he was holding it. Damn. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. That's okay with me. I'll sleep just fine tonight with that notion. I used to be so happy without you. It was such a mistake. However, despite.
Despite the monstrous weight gain and crumbling relationship, it was likely Arrow, difficult for to follow. change his behavior the channel, as bro. from a financial perspective, his bank account was skyrocketing. You know, I sit up here in my tower and watch everyone struggle and be poor. It's so entertaining. I love watching poor people. They struggle. Oh, I just need popcorn. I could sit here and watch them struggle all day. Nikki I'm not going to lie. That's a lit ass view, though. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. <laughs> I'll be feeling like Kingpin in a penthouse, bro. I'm not even going to. I'll be feeling like Kingpin in that bitch. <laughs> looking down like. Mm. You can't be me, though. No, that's still me, nigga. Avocado, Avocado would announce that he'd purchased a $2.3 million penthouse apartment in Las Vegas after adding... Yeah, I think YouTubers don't be making millions in this bitch. Pounds ...to his body weight. Finding chairs that could hold my size was such a nightmare because I'm 300... 50 almost. <laughs> a comment on the video stating, enjoy your house bro, you got not much time left, perfectly encapsulates the conundrum of Nikocado Avocado. It sums up the dilemma that Nikocado Avocado has found himself in, being the exchange of health for money, or on an even deeper level, the exchange of health for meaning. Sure, Nikocado Avocado could quit doing mukbangs tomorrow. He'd probably lose a bunch of weight considering his weight gain is anchored to the work, but really, like, what's he gonna do? Go back to busking with a violin in New York City? It's not really realistic. Yet, equal unrealistic is the idea that he can continue to mukbang every day without it eventually resulting in something that would take him out of the game altogether. The smart thing Nikocado could do if he ever decides to take a path that go involves him losing weight and chilling with the mukbangs, make a second channel of people who fuck with you. People who fuck with you and who understand it. There's, I know there's people who watch him who do wish that he did go on a diet and who probably view him as being entertaining regardless of the mukbangs because you have two million people come on now you know there's going to be at least a few hundred thousand that's going to fuck with you regardless if you do mukbangs or not you could take advantage of that clout and just make a new channel and the money may not be the same but it could probably eventually grow like think about it all he has to do is do a transformation video before and after of how much weight he lost and that will most likely be his most viewed video you know how many youtubers will react to that shit that would be a that would be his most viewed video but this is why i say like bro you got to be careful on what path you go down to in a youtube as a youtuber bro because i made this decision a bunch of times bro i had really had to think about it like yo what is the safest route for me to go if i kept going down this fucking friday night funkin' path of content creation nigga i would have been just making videos for kids I wouldn't have to stick to that same platform and just keep talking about kitty shit. Every, all the kitty shit I reacted to and looked at. Views, views, money, mon nigga, fuck the money. I'm tired of these little ass niggas. <laughs> not you guys, not you guys. I love you guys. You, you, y'all the real little niggas, but I'm talking about the ones on YouTube. Niggas on every fucking video commenting. Hey, G7, did you play this FNF mod? Did you play, uh, did you play a menace? Menace combat did that? Uh, uh, G7, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I can't take this no more. No, <laughs> no, I did not. I don't want to play it. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> so sometimes, as a YouTuber, you it's good to fucking quit while you're ahead. I decided, like, you know what? I don't even want to hit 100k with this following, bro. I don't want even more jits like this, bro. I need to start over and take the real ones. The real ones who fuck with me. I need to pull you out of the 20K and move here. Move here and see where we could go with this. Because y'all eventually going to grow the fuck up anyway. Most of y'all already saying y'all tired of the same old game anyway. So I'm like, all right, bet. Let's move here and grow with this and make a new base of people who just gives a fuck about regardless of what I do. That's why I mainly post reactions. Because, nigga, if you can watch me do a reaction, you can watch anything. I'm going to be real. <laughs> Yo.